Okay, first thing I'm going to do for an ABG draw is go ahead and check the patient's chart before entering the room. Make sure that the um, doctor had placed an order in there for it to be drawn and also look for any contraindications like if the patient's on heparin, look at the patient's history, things like that, just to make sure um, um, any other blood thinners or things like that to make sure that the patient is safe to have it the blood taken. So um, I'll go ahead and enter the patient's room, um, introduce myself. I'm Kate with Respiratory, um, and I'm here to take a blood gas sample from you. I'm here to take an arterial blood sample from you. It's a little bit different than the um, when the nurses draw blood. They take it from the veins. This one's going to be from your arteries. So I just need to look at your wrist here to see if you have good collateral return. So we could go ahead and take um, a sample from your radial artery. I'll set the patient up. Um, once they say that's okay, I'll wash my hands, use standard precautions, set the patient up, um, and you do the Allen's test to make sure if they have good collateral return. Once I ensure that they do, then I'll put a, a rolled towel underneath the wrist of the patient. Um, I'm going to take the patient's temperature, write out their um, label here, name, um, date, the temperature, room number, etc. Go ahead and place it on my biohazard bag. I went ahead and brought in the ABG kit with me so I had all my supplies and ready to go. Um, I'm going to pulsate for the radial artery and once I do that, I'm going to grab my alcohol swab and I'm going to clean the area that I'm going to do the draw. And I have my syringe here. I'm going to go ahead and take the cap off and I'm going to pull back the syringe to 1.5 milliliters. We at least need 0.5 milliliters to get a good sample. So um, now that the alcohol has all dried, I'm going to hold the syringe like a pencil and I'm going to insert at a 45 degree angle, letting the patient know when I go in. Okay, Mr. Skellington, I'm going to insert the needle now on the count of three, one, two, and three. I insert at a 45 degree angle and I have everything prepped and ready. My uh, gauze is here. Once it fills up all the way, I will go ahead and uh, take the needle out, applying pressure for three to five minutes. When I take the needle out, I'll make sure that the needle stays away from me. I'm going to cork the needle and I'm going to bandage the patient here. Now I'm going to go ahead and cap the needle. Look at my sample, making sure that there's no air bubbles. Tap it if there is, make sure it's all out. And I have my biohazard bag with the label already on it. I'm going to send it to lab. Make sure that the patient is comfortable. Thank him for allowing me to get that sample from him. And um, go ahead and deglove, wash my hands, and exit the room and send the sample off to lab. All right.